And so some religious matters. Now, the Lagos State Government says plans are on to register religious houses to ensure sanity in the state. The Commissioner of Lagos State Ministry of Home Affairs, Uzamat Akimbile Yusuf, made this known during a stakeholders meeting with the Nigeria Interreligious Council, NIREC. Akimbile Yusuf said that the registration, which was supposed to kickstart by mid-2020, would help to fish out worship centers that were being used to perpetrate evil in the state. And joining me now uh, is the Lagos State Commissioner for Information, Benga Omotosho, to shed more light on this matter. And so, good afternoon, Mr. Commissioner. Good afternoon. Uh, good to have you live here on Plus TV Africa. Our first question would be, what do you mean when you say that you're beginning to, the registration will begin sometime mid of uh, 2020 to ensure sanity? What does that mean? What sort of sanity are we talking about here? Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you've been following the news, there are places where people hide under the fact that they are running religious houses to do some things that are anti-society. You get people chained down under the, the, the preachers that they are being uh, healed. Then so many things that are untoward happen in worship places. And uh, nobody will expect the government to just close its eyes to such things. And the thinking is that if they have brought on the, the regulated uh, a platform, it will be easy for them to be monitored. In as, uh, uh, that, the, the, but that does not mean that the government is going to impugn on their right to worship. There is a freedom of worship. Nobody is going to be disturbed from uh, worshiping in whichever way he likes. But the government has a right to protect the rights of uh, citizens so that nobody exploits them under the guise of uh, religious leadership. Okay, having said that, uh, Mr. Commissioner, Nigeria is a country of about 200 million people and counting, and we have different statistics in terms of religious persuasion. But the most uh, current would be statistics from Pew's own survey, which was in 2011. And it puts Nigeria as a country with 50% of Christians, 49% Muslim, and 1% other religions. Now, that makes it a big one for, for, for the nation. So how do you intend to register all of this? That is why the advocacy has started early. The registration proper is going to begin next year. But now everybody is being put on notice that the government wants to do this. And any, 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 any uh, negative impression that they have in mind will be disabused from now till then. We know it's a tough one because there are so many religious houses. And that is the reason why they have to be brought under this kind of a platform. The data that will be collected from doing this, we have the government to do advocacy in so many areas. So it is just beyond just registering that. We need that data to be able to do so many things for planning, you know, for strategy, and for so many other things that will benefit the city's room. Okay, Mr. Commissioner, let's talk about African tradition religion. That also has been recognized as a religion in itself. And we have practitioners of that also in Nigeria, which, you know, constitutes 1%. Would they be part of this exercise? Everybody who calls himself a religious uh, body will be part of it. Okay. Now, what Don't forget most of these organizations are even registered. Uh, but the ones that are registered... They are not as uh, many as those ones, thousands and thousands of them that are unregistered. And the activities are unregulated. Nobody looks at them. And we feel that uh, if we continue like this, in this licensed attitude, it's not going to benefit the society. Okay, now let's move away a bit from all of this. While addressing that issue of registration, how can we curb the issues of noise pollution, uh, which we see caused by places of worship? And, how, and it's almost becoming a common phenomenon in the different parts of this country. How can that be factored in? Yeah, the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency has been closing down worship houses that are not only worship houses, public places where people abuse the law on uh, noise pollution. There is a law in place regulating how much noise you can make, and you don't have to disturb your neighbor when you do your events and all that. So Lagos State has been enforcing that law. Recently, so many worship places 
and uh, other public places have been closed down for such uh, for violating that law. So the law is in place, and uh, the enforcement is going to continue. All right. Thank you so very much, Commissioner, for your time. Mm, thank you.